Hi everyone, welcome again. Now in this video, we will learn a little bit about life cycle callbacks. So what it means when Spring is initializing a bean or when Spring manages the life cycle of a bean, it provides certain hooks that we can use in order to have a little bit control on the overall life cycle of a bean. So let's start. Now in this example or in this video, what we are going to do, we are going to focus on user DAO. So if we open the user DAO class, we said that this is data access object and the purpose of having a DAO is that DAO will talk to the database. So as you can see, there is a message which says that for the method fetch user by ID, the DAO will hit the database. It will basically fire a select query and it will fetch the user by ID. So the thing is every time when we are calling fetch user by ID, it will fire a select query. Now maybe we want to create a user cache so that we don't have to hit the database again and again. So one way to create such a cache is that once the object has been created or once the user DAO is properly instantiated, can we create a cache at that point of time? Before anyone can use the user DAO or can call the method, at that point of time, let's create a user cache. But how do we do that? How do we know when user DAO has been instantiated properly and ready for use? Now, in such situations, we can use lifecycle callbacks provided by the Spring, and one such callback is post construct. So there is an annotation provided by the Spring post construct and we can use this annotation on a method. So if we annotate a method with this annotation, Spring will call that method once the bean has been initialized. So once the bean is ready for use, it will, Spring will automatically call that method. So how do we use this post construct method? Well, we have to now add a new dependency because this is coming from another dependency. And that dependency is basically Java X dot annotation hyphen API. So let's see how do we add a new dependency? How do we search what exactly we need to add in pom.xml? Now we can simply Google the dependency that we need to find. So here we are saying that Java X dot annotation hyphen API Maven dependency. And the first link that you see is from Maven repository. We can simply go to that link and here the latest version is 1.3.2 so we can go to this one and here we can find the exact dependency section that we can paste to our pom.xml so let's copy this section go back to the project open the pom.xml here and let's add another dependency here like this java x dot annotation hyphen api reload the project and it is now downloading the dependency from the internet once it once done let's go back to the user DAO and write a method here and name it any anything that we want but in this case because we took the example of warming up the cache so let's name it init cache and we need to annotate it with post construct and let's put a simple message here and to understand the flow of execution let's add a constructor as well so public user DAO and constructor complete okay so what we did we used at the rate post construct annotation and uh, by doing this once this bean is initialized spring context or ioc container will automatically call this method and here we are saying that get me the object of user DAO. now if we run the program Let's verify the order of execution. So first we see constructor complete, which is the message in the constructor. 
then we see the log from the post construct init cache and then in the end the call returned and printed this message so anything that we annotate with post construct it will be called automatically once the constructor is complete so that's how we use the lifecycle callbacks in the next video we will continue our discussion on the beams stay tuned thanks for watching